Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, you're a little child, and you have a lollipop, right? And you want to eat it so bad. And you fiddle with it, and you fiddle with it, and you fiddle with it, and you fiddle and you can't get to the lollipop. But you're fiddling with it, and you, oh, oh, you can't get to it. And, 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 oh, oh, it gets you so upset, you cry. So why? Because you can't get it open. So what do you do? You reach up to Papa. Papa takes the lollipop and he takes the little wrapping off and he takes it off, lays it aside, and he gives you your lollipop. And you get that. Hmm. Now you can enjoy it. Now, <laughs> okay, let's lay this aside. Now, here is you trying to get to the Lord. <laughs> and you are thinking, why can't I get to him? What's wrong? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm praying. I'm, I'm, I'm fasting. I'm reading the Bible. I wonder if God is up there cracking up at some of us. Because see, God is drawn to hunger. And when your hunger draws you close to God, God's recognition of your hunger draws him close to you. Keep pursuing him. Don't give up because you can't get your little lollipop opened up. God will help you. He will meet you halfway. Even if you go a little way, he'll, he'll go most of the distance, trust me. Because God wants you to experience him. But there comes that period where you have to go through that process. There's a developmental stage. Now, when you, know, you were maybe three and you couldn't get the lollipop open, but maybe when you're five and you're fighting to get it open, Mom and Pop, they're not going to come and help you because they want you to figure that out for yourself. They want you to stimulate those brain cells because you have to develop. And you'll never develop if you don't use the old noodle. So there are times God will back up and watch you get frustrated trying to get a handle on your relationship with a God you know nothing about. And there are things he has that comes with the package deal and you can't seem to get your hands on it. You seem to miss it every time you think you're getting close and bam, it's gone. And you miss it and you miss it and you miss it. And it's like, oh, God doesn't want me. Oh, stop it before I take you over my knee. You know that's a lie from the pit, okay? But you have to process the pursuit. The pursuit is part of your development. Just like the child having to figure out how to get the wrapping off the lollipop is part of their development. You can't do everything for a child. They'll never grow. They'll turn into a little wimpy, little sorry, little, uh, oh, I don't even know how to call it, but, you know, just a little mushy, little, little weakling because you've never uh, um, forced them to use their mental muscles, their emotional muscles, their, you know, you've got to allow a child to figure some things out on their own. And that is the same thing God does with us. He is the ultimate parent, is he not? He is our father, which art in heaven. He parents us. And as we go from stage to stage of development and growth, God is helping us. 
and he will help us sometimes through his silence. He will help us the most. And all of a sudden, revelation will start to come to you. Understanding will start getting the picture clearly. Why? Because you pursued it. You went after it. You dug into it. And God didn't come rescue you too early. God bless you.